Good evening. I'm Bill Weld. I'm the Libertarian candidate for Vice President of the United States, and I've just uh, live tweeted throughout the Vice Presidential debate held in Virginia just now. And uh, I want to give you my takeaway from the debate. Uh, first, the pro Kane Clinton side. I thought uh, Senator Kane made a, a good point uh, by uh, presidential candidate Clinton demonstrating her commitment to public service before she got into public life. It's true, she came to a very early Wellesley College. Uh, and uh, I thought the senator was good when he talked about Mr. Trump's uh, fantasies and insult-driven campaign. It's really hard to argue with that. Uh, he, was, uh, he was not so convincing about uh, are we safer or more dangerous than we were uh, you know, before the Obama administration. However, Mr. Trump's proposals are even worse than that, you know, nuclear weapons and uh, Putin and abandoning our allies. So I, I count that as a point on the Clinton side. Uh, and Mr. Pence, Governor Pence, uh, denies it when uh, Senator Kane quotes Trump as saying, women should be punished for having an abortion. But that is exactly what Mr. Trump said, quote unquote. So that's a point for Kane and Clinton. Uh, Trump's uh, policies about immigration are really misguided based on history. We are a nation of immigrants, uh, and we are a great nation uh, on, on account of that. And that's a major worm in the apple in the entire Trump uh, candidacy. Uh, and finally, Trump, uh, uh, Kane is right when he, he quoted what Mr. Trump has said, we are building the wall about Mexico, and they will all be gone. I thought both uh, Senator Kane and Governor Pence were not really telling the truth about Social Security, uh, as both the Republican and the Democratic presidential candidates have said, uh, we're not going to touch uh, entitlements. So that was kind of a negative uh, draw. Uh, on, on the Trump side, uh, when Governor Pence said, you know, more taxes, more spending under the Democrats, uh, he's probably right about that. Uh, and I thought Senator Kane, when he talked about uh, the Democrats' uh, investments uh, for job creation, his five-point plan, I thought that was too smooth, you know, that you are hired versus you are fired. So I'd give advantage to Trump on that. Uh, I thought personally that Governor Pence was better than Senator Kane on Syria, though Governor Johnson, Gary Johnson and I, my running mate, continue to favor restraint on regime change, uh, military incursions by the uh, USA. I was interested to uh, hear that uh, Governor Pence served for 10 years on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. That's a plus. Of course, Senator Clinton served uh, on, the, on the Senate Armed Services Committee as well. Um, Senator Kane said that the secret to intelligence work is alliances with other countries. Uh, as a former senior, very senior federal prosecutor, the head of the criminal division of the Justice Department, uh, I would uh, disagree. I think we have to do that uh, ourselves. Uh, Governor Pence uh, uh, talked about more than half of Secretary Clinton's meetings at the State Department were with donors to the Clinton Foundation. Uh, if that's literally true, that is kind of an alarming fact. Uh, and finally, on, on the question of how are you going to unify the country? Uh, again, I didn't think either candidate was persuasive, uh, and for very good reason. The two establishment parties uh, and the two presidential campaigns really hate each other and want to kill each other. So I'm not sure how you get from that to unification. So all in all, it was a pretty good, pretty good night. I might give it to Pence on points, uh, but I thought they, they both did well. And, and why not? They're both president or former governors. Thanks very much and good evening.